top of the top. It's now been almost one month since I arrived in Oldenburg, Germany to play for Ewe Basket. In my previous three years as a pro hooper, that first two to three weeks in, the, in my new country, my new environment, is really sort of unsettling and full of a lot of anxiety because there's so many uncertainties, so many new experiences. Life just seems to get overwhelming and overwhelming really quick. But my first month here, surprisingly, hasn't been like that at all. So as I sit back and reflect on my first month here, I ask why? Or, or I really ask how, like how has this time not had the same feelings of anxiety and discomfort and uneasiness that my previous three years had? My reflection led me to three things that helped me remain calm, cool, and collected during moments of high anxiety and stress, much similar to a basketball game or any sort of performance. And I think these three things will help young basketball players all around perform better in their games and just have better emotional and mental well-being. As you guys get a car view of my ride to the practice facility every day, let's break down the first thing that helps me combat anxiety and stress in high pressure situations, and that is routine. Anxiety is literally worry about things we cannot control. And what better way to combat that than control the things we can control? And the best way to do that is have a routine. You guys saw earlier that I was making my famous pour over coffee like I do every morning. See, for me, that is a tenant, a staple of my routine. That's kind of how I calm down and reset before every day. I know it sounds silly, like making coffee doesn't calm your nerves, but the routine of doing the same thing every day brings you back to that foundation of this is what I do, this is who I am, this is part of my routine. Everything out of, outside of my control is going to stay outside of my control and I'm not going to worry about it. Take a look at our practice facility and make sure you pick a routine so that it can keep you grounded when things around you get chaotic. Now, as I take you guys through some of my final steps in my knee rehabilitation process, I want us to think of another thing that helps us remain calm during stressful and anxious situations, and that is acceptance. Acceptance is the recognition that some things are the way they are and there's nothing we can do about it. But don't get it twisted. Acceptance doesn't mean that we just lie down and just accept things for what they are and we can't do anything. No, it doesn't mean that we're gonna be victims but it does mean we are honest about our circumstance. And then we're able to take a step back and really formulate a plan of attack on how we're gonna problem solve, on how we're gonna get over these hurdles and how we're gonna make it better and make a difference. Accept the current moment, but don't fall victim to it. The final thing that's helped me remain calm during high stress situations is simply just having perspective. Now, what does that even mean? Hey, 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 my boy, money man. Having perspective is understanding that there is a bigger picture beyond the current moment. So yes, the moment may be chaotic, it may be stressful, but it's just a moment. There is a bigger picture beyond the current moment, and understanding that gives us the ability to take a step back and be calm, cool, and collective. Perspective is the understanding that there's more to life than what is stressing us out right now. So I leave you with this. In my first month here in Oldenburg, Germany, things have not necessarily gone how I imagined, but I've been able to remain calm because using these three things, a routine. I've accepted the situation for what it is, and I've just had perspective that this is just a moment. I think I'm him. Take that, Alvaro. I'm him. And that I'm so much greater in the moment. It's okay. And when we acknowledge that, we actually elevate beyond our moments. And we can become a better person, a bigger person. And when it, it comes game time, when it comes our moment to really perform, to be at our best, we're going to be ready. Because we know how to handle stress. We know how to handle anxiety. And without those 
two things kind of like holding us back, our performance will skyrocket. And so for all my young hoopers out there, let's have a great year. Let's do this thing. Let's get buckets and become the best versions of ourselves, both on and off the court. Oh,